easy. Handle the lid by hand and open it. Hold the top of the side panel to erect it. Direct the left side panels sequentially. Make sure the adjacent side panels are bitten well. Erecting IBC is completed. Filling preparation. Hold the drop door handles and lift it up to unlock it. Open the drop door. Check the inner wall and bottom of the IBC. Make sure it is smooth and free of any birds. Place the filling gland of liner on the long side panel. Spread and lay the liner flat on the bottom. Align the bottom valve with the discharging port. Use the side post clip to clamp the discharging valve. Press bottom valve outward along inner discharging port with both hands to complete discharging valve installation. Open the sump cover. Check whether the suspension loops of the clip are firmly stuck to the IBC slot. Close the sump cover. Open the cap of filling plan. Connect the filling adapters and hose with the filling gland. Direct the drop door and press down with both hands to lock it. Turn on the filling equipment. Start filling. The liner will expand automatically as the liquid level rises in the filling process. Filling. Note, the filling liquid level should not exceed the height of the IBC toot. Finish the filling to reach the specified volume and turn off filling equipment. Dismantle the filling adapters and hose. Tighten the cap of the filling gland clockwise by hand. Tighten up the corners of the liner to fill four corners of the IBC bin evenly. Lay the liner flat and put on the lid. Pull the metal locks inward and press down at the same time to get it locked. Install the TE pins. Take out the disposable TE pins. Install the TE pin on the lid. Insert the middle tongue of the TE pin into the lock hole. Fold the lower piece upward and fold the upper piece downward. Then insert the another tongue into the middle locking hole. Then press hard and finished. Install the TE pin on the sump cover. Complete filling operation, prepared for transportation. Discharging preparation. Dismantle the TE pins from the lid. Take the two locking tongue apart and then remove the TE pins easily. Hold the two metal locks on the lid inward with both hands and lift upward to unlock the lid. Discharging operation. Dismantle the TE pin on the sump cover Open the sump cover, remove the valves and the theft ring, and unscrew the cap of valve. The IN adapter and clamp. Install the DIN connector discharger kit to the bottom discharging valve. Screw it with a wrench for better sealing. Open the valve horizontally to the right direction. Start discharging. In the discharging process, we 
when the rusty liquid reaches the bottom, it needs to be pulled manually and put liquid back on the drop door to allow the liquid to gather at the valve port, convenient for discharging the residue of the liquid bag. Finish the discharge. Turn off the valve horizontally to the left direction. Use wrench to remove the DIN discharge kit. Then screw the valve cap. Use a flat head screw driver to pry up the side push clip and push the valve inward to complete the removal. Close the sump cover. Take out the liner. Put the waste liner to recycling station. Fold the IBC. Hold the handles of the short side panel and press inward to unlock the side panels. Fold the two long side panels non-sequentially. Put on the lid. Finished. This is the filling and discharging operation video of Horrens OF330. Thanks for your time.